Hey everybody, my name's Lee. This is Elias. I run Island Water Sports Company here on Okaloosa Island, islandwatersportscompany.com. If you need to find a place to rent a boat, paddleboard, kayak, we are also the biggest double decker provider in town. For us, the difference today of uh, paddleboarding and kayaking. One you're going to sit as Elias is showing us right here, the other is on our paddle board. Generally we recommend people starting out on their knees, but then you end up standing up by the end of it. So just a little bit of difference. Uh, one's a little more work than the other. Obviously the standing uh, on a paddle board is a little harder, but not too bad. For a beginner, I always recommend starting out on a kayak. So that way you can understand how to paddle, get your uh, balance right so you can stabilize and then move on. Entering and exiting the kayak, I recommend getting in in shallow water. It makes your life a whole lot easier. Uh, so the areas like this right here, basically you want to turn to your side and then you would swing your hips over into the boat. You want to get out from, from the water to show them for us real quick. Okay. So if you have a buddy, the boards are supposed to lay here for you, but uh, most kayaks do have little hooks that you can lay to hold the paddle board or kayak in. He's a little more agile than some, so he's just working his way on in here. It's also important to know which direction your paddles are supposed to be facing. I always tell everybody, find your logos, logos facing towards you. Now as you're paddling your kayak, go ahead and land. Nice, stable, long, deep strokes just like that. Left, right, left, right. So exiting the kayak, same way. I usually pass mine off to a friend. Swing one leg out, swing your other leg out. And you're good. So, if you tip your kayak over, don't panic. These are not like canoes. Especially a lot of our rental companies here in town, we use ones that are meant to be out in the Gulf of Mexico in some rough choppy water. So they're not going to fill with water, they're not going to sink on you. So if you are wearing your PFD, the first thing I recommend to you to do is to look up. Get your bearings. Uh, so that way you don't have to worry about taking any water through the face or anything like that. So if you look up to the sky, the water won't hit you in the face. You can get your bearings because you're probably a little startled to begin with. We're gonna do a quick little paddleboard demonstration uh, with Elias and I. First things first, we always recommend everybody start on your knees, okay? That way you can find your center of balance on the board. Generally, there's always gonna be a handle somewhere in the middle. I don't want to hit the face, but there's a handle right there. So that's where the center line of balance is. That's where you wanna start out. And I always recommend everybody start on your knees. This is important. This knob is your power stroking handle. So if you have this hand on the top of the knob at all times, you're gonna get the most stroke as you're paddling, okay? I always recommend one to two paddles one way and then switch. Now, if you can get this motion down, paddle boarding is very easy for you. For us today, if you wanna turn around, you just put a long stroke backwards and the board will start spinning. So Elias, if you could take your hand, put it on the top of the towel. There you go. And there you go. And now if we stroke backwards, it's going to turn your board around for you. So just keep going like that, and it'll change your directional for you. What I tell everybody is, is use your paddle to push up on. Knees slightly bent and stand. A lot of common errors I see when people try to stand up for their board is when they are coming from a knee paddle position to the standing position, they'll push up and then they lock their legs out. When you do that, you have no stability. Even I have no stability. But if you keep a slight bend to your knees and a forward lean, you're going to have no issues paddling.
great thing about this bay is the water clarity. So there are always tons of fish. Sometimes if you get lucky, you'll see a sweet stingray swimming underneath you. Don't be panicked. If you're on the bottom, you're in the kayak. Uh, then of course, dolphins swim by a lot. I have some beautiful pictures on our Facebook page of people just literally kayaking right out here and dolphins swimming up right next to them. You know, we don't want to disturb them, but when they come on by, it's a death 